What's, what's Sir Osborne's name again? That famous Chris bloke? Martin, yes. Yeah, he's in a band. Does he like cup of soup? Do we know anything about it? Of course, him? everyone knows Chris Martin likes a cup of soup. Well, <laughs> you mad? Well, he has all the flavours written on the back of his hand. <laughs> Didn't Chris Martin say uh, a while back, on the back of one of his album sleeves, it said, for every album that we make, we're going to plant a tree, uh, sort of, of all the, w the paper that we've wasted mm. making this uh, CD. And I just thought to myself, can't you just cut out the middle, man? <laughs> just stop making CDs. <laughs> yeah, they so, does he say, they, when, they when said every album they make, you make, they plant a tree? I mean, they, what, they make an album once every one or two years? <laughs> That's been about four trees. My, <laughs> my dad plants more trees than that. <laughs> He hasn't released an album in years. <laughs> uh, so, do you think Gwyneth is likely to have said this? Yeah, I probably think I so. That is true. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm I, with you, I, sort of I can hear her American. I mean, they call their daughter <coughs> Apple. They're quite sort of healthy people. Well, bachelors uh, claim that there are no additives in cup of soup. That's the company that makes it, not just unmarried men. <laughs> Married men who rely on kappa soup for their whole diet say it's actually there's no additives. Like, it's, it's, yeah. it's bloody healthy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Knocks back the loneliness if you put whiskey in it. <laughs> Maybe you could give us uh, uh, some kind of uh, conclusion yeah. as to whether you think this is true or not. It's, this way I don't that. think it's true. Do you think it's true? No, no I don't, no, think, it's I don't think so. We think it's a lie. They're saying it's a lie. Lee. I think it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Was it? I think it's true. Okay. True. Or saying it's true. It is true. <laughs> Absolutely right. Gwyneth Paltrow would rather die than let her child eat cup of soup. In fact, any child of Gwyneth's is more likely to be named cup of soup than served it. <laughs> the next round goes by the curiously abridged title of This Is My, in which David's team all claim to have a close association with tonight's special guest person. The task for Lee's team, should they choose to accept it, is to identify which of them is for real. So please welcome this week's special guest person, Jill. Now, David, perhaps you'd like to explain how you know Jill. Uh, yes, this is Jill, the hypnotherapist who cured me of my fear of balloons. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Mylene, what's Jill to you? Uh, this is my good friend Jill, and she has fitted Camilla Parker Bowles's underwear. <laughs> and finally, Jason, your relationship with Jill? Uh, this is Jill. Uh, she's the air hostess who saved my life when I choked on a peanut once. <laughs> so there you are. <laughs> A balloon therapist, if we believe David, an underwear fitter to the royals, if we believe Mylene, uh, or a life-saving air hostess, according to Jason. What is the thing about a balloon which is so frightening? Well, I'm, 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 I'm a bit better about it now. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank God you're able to talk about it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what, is it I mean, the, is the, the fact that they might go so bang in no, your I'm face? Trying to, I'm trying to share here. And, yeah. You know, yeah. The, the thing that that scares me about balloons yes. is, is essentially is that they might pop. Yeah, but to be fair, that's not an irrational fear if it's a hot air balloon, is it? No. But frankly, if I had a phobia about hot air balloons, I would have managed to limp through life. If you... <laughs> <laughs> There's not much... Oh, it's terrible, because I, I get to work mm. by hot air balloon as well. <laughs> I'm just screaming the whole time. I can't, you know, I have to put the radio on. No. <laughs> uh, it's, you know, everyday party balloons Right. Have, when have you... since I was very young, ah. scared the shit out of me <laughs> because they might pop. So did right. you go to parties as a kid and, and, and cry? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then I, wouldn't, then I wouldn't go to parties as a kid and my parties, there were no balloons. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I want to know about the peanut in the throat and uh, the possible Heimlich. I mean, how, did you, how were you saved? Uh, Heimlich, yeah. Oh, you've helped him out there, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Does she look strong enough? <laughs> the, the Heimlich, it's not, it's not about strength and, and, and power, it's about the actual positioning of the, the actual... right down the diaphragm. Oh, you're a doctor as well now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me which flight you were on. I was flying Manchester to Gatwick, and I sat near the front, I sat near the front for that extra bit of leg room, and luckily the woman's actually sat opposite you, right? God bless her, right? And um, as I was sort of eating these peanuts, one of them just, just lodged just right in my throat, and um, just quick as a flash, Bang, Jill was up. Don't say bang in front of David. <laughs> <laughs> Scare the life out of him. <laughs> <laughs> What's your association with Camilla Parker's bowls is gusset manufacturer? She's my friend, and that's who she fits. I've got no association with Camilla, but she doesn't this fit is my your friend Jill. Corsets necessarily. Um, has done. 
Is this, is this a common thing, having underwear fitters? Do you have an underwear fitter, Leslie? I do, actually. They're yeah. here now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're lying. Little Jimmy Cranky's down there working his arse off. <laughs> they actually um, sort of make to order. They go around and fit you up and... I think knickers are quite regular, but every woman, as you know, has, goes up and down in their underwear, and so... Sorry? <laughs> So, I need to press you for an answer here, Lee. Uh, is this person David's balloon shrink, uh, Mylene's regal basque fitter, or be... Jason's selfless I think, stewardess? I, I think it's a stewardess. Although I think he's a bare-faced liar, <laughs> I just think he's telling the truth on this. I don't, I don't believe Jason has ever allowed anything to be stuck halfway before it gets down here. I think <laughs> he's not. <laughs> he's not an idiot. He's from the north, and those peanuts are free. Yeah. <laughs> I love the balloon thing, cos it's no, just so sweet. I, I like the sweetness of it, yes. I'm OK, you that. are the team captain, Lee. You have to make a decision know, of some yeah. sort. All right, then. I'm going to go with Leslie, then, and say that, bizarrely, the balloon story just just might be in a, in a crazy sort of way. OK, you're opting for oh, David's balloon shrink. He's Jill, too. perhaps you'd like to tell us who you really are. I'm Jill Kenton. I'm Mylene Class's friend. And I do fit Camilla. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, indeed. Uh, Jill is uh, Mylene's uh, purveyor of pants to the royals. Well done and thank you for coming, Jill Kenton. Yes, uh, Jill has fitted uh, Camilla Parker Bowles' underwear. Now she's in the royal family, of course. Camilla has to be rather more frugal uh, when she gets bored with her lacy underwear. It's handed down to Prince Edward. <laughs> And so to telly tales around in which classic TV shows of yesteryear are resurrected for our viewing pleasure. And Lee's team then intrigue us with an additional related fact. This week, our specialist area is Saturday morning children's TV, a world where men's knitwear plummeted new depths and disaster was always just a haircut away. <laughs> so Lee is up uh, with his fact loosely related to these well-known pop critics. <laughs> That's Pepsi and Shirley and heartache. Mrs. Thatcher, what about you? I didn't think it sounded like heartache at all. I thought the nearest it got to heartache was that almost ballet bit, you know, with several people standing up in the background moving. That was the nearest to heartache. Otherwise, it was thump, thump, thump. I accept very professional, but nothing like heartache. Yes, a love, yes, good voices, professional production, but not quite what I would expect of heartache. I would say three. Three, three for you. Yes. Would you dance to it? <laughs> no, I wouldn't, because there was no melody. There certainly was rhythm. You could do a movement to it. You could do a movement to any rhythm. You could do a movement to a drum without having any song. But there was no melody and no heartache. Pepsi and Shirley not quite cutting it for Mrs Thatcher there. <laughs> she was always more of a Guns N' Roses fan. Uh, anyway, uh, Lee, what is your related fact to that clip? Um, did you know that Mike Reed often uh, does a musical turn at the Tory party conference? And last year, it was a ten-minute political rap. Do you notice how the whole mood has dropped since we saw a clip of Margaret Thatcher? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to live anymore. <laughs> Every, oh, yeah, I remember that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so what bit of the Tory... Is this, like, the main assembly bit? Yes. After it... the Shadow Chancellor's done his speech? Yeah, now, as just... usual, what you're all here for, <laughs> Mike Reed's ten-minute rap. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> You've got to remember that Tories are a bit stuffy and boring, aren't yeah, they? I mean, they're stuffy and boring, but they're not, you know, complete morons. <laughs> I think it's true, because the Tory party are so out of sync with reality that that's the sort of thing that they might go, Mike Reed's very popular, isn't he? <laughs> what about Mike Reed? It all makes sense. Yeah. I don't, I don't think they could be that out of sync with reality <laughs> and still know where Parliament is. <laughs> I just don't think it's true. Well, I'm prepared so, to go okay. with that. You're the we captain. think it's a lie. You're saying it's a lie. OK. Let's find out if you're right, Lee. It actually is true. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's a very hard one to do this. I'm sorry. How are, they, how are they ever going to get back into office? <laughs> Aren't they trying? Is it match-fixing? <laughs> Someone bribing them to be terrible at politics. <laughs> Mike Reed, ten minutes rapping. What the f is that? <laughs> democracy in this country. 